Hi everybody, it's Nat from Studio Hacks here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can take an MP3 file and turn it into a YouTube video. Um, and this is for PC and Mac users, but I did do a video on iMovie. This is using a browser-based video creation tool. And if you are a musician or a audio content creator, a podcaster, um, a meditation, you create meditations, you can turn your audio into a video and put it on the world's second biggest search engine, YouTube, which is owned by Google. So basically it's a really simple process. You just need to get your audio file. You need to get an image or a thumbnail. You combine the two in a video creator and then you get your video and upload that to YouTube. So we have here, if you can see my uh, desktop right here, Right here is my uh, MP3 file. This is a remix that I created of a video game uh, called Animal Crossing. I did a lo-fi hip hop remix and I downloaded two images off the internet. This is one uh, of the Animal Crossing video game and this is one of the lo-fi, um, traditional lo-fi sort of images that you see. So first of all, I need to create my thumbnail, my image. Um, and I'm using an online tool called Canva for that. And I've logged into Canva with my Google uh, account and I'm going to hit create design. And then you just type in YouTube thumbnail and this will, so I've just typed in YouTube. So I'm going to select YouTube thumbnail from here. This is going to give me a bunch of pre-made um, templates. So this is really, the easy way to do it because this is pre-formatted. They look good. So let me see if there's just anything here, like a, a good, um, I've got two images. So maybe something that's like split screen or something like that. Something with two images on it. Um, let's have a quick look. Um, I can just create my own from scratch if I want. That's what I might do actually. Oh, so hang on. Here we go. I'm going to select this uh, one here. Um, what I'm going to do is delete the background image that came with this template and instead I'm going to go over to elements and I'm going to find under grids here uh, we can do a little split screen thing. I'm just going to drag and drop that onto the background um, and then I'm going to grab my two images and drag them into this area here and it's going to upload those images there to the Canva uh, online application. And then I can grab one on this side. Let me grab this one and drag it on. And then I can grab this one on the other side. And then I can change that text there. So this is just really simple. This is this is one that I actually created for the actual video with Canva. So that's how I do it. And then you just hit download and select where you want to download that image. So that's the image taken care of. Now I'm going to use an online application called Adobe Spark. And I will leave the link to both Canva and Adobe Spark uh, in the description of this video. So it's a, in a similar way to that we used Canva to create an online image. Uh, we can use this. This is sort of like iMovie or Windows Media, uh, Windows Movie Maker, but it's online. So I'm going to hit create project and then um, I'm going to select video. And uh, I did have a mess around with this before. So I'm going to call this low. So you have to name your project. Um, and then I'm going to just select uh, from these templates here. I think there was just from scratch, make up my own. So I'm going to pick that one. So if you are a first time user of Adobe Spark, it will uh, try and give you some tips, but we're just going to skip those for the moment. So this is the main interface of Adobe Spark and um, it will leave a tiny little watermark for the unpaid version. So that's just one small downfall. But if you don't mind a small watermark on your video, uh, it is free. So first of all, I need to add my image. 
Um, so I'm going to see we've got a couple of slides here. I'm going to delete this credits slide. I don't want that. I'm just going to select hide credits. And then on this number one here, I'm just going to drag and drop my image off. I have to select it first. Sorry. So I click on it's frozen up on me. I'll just wait for it to catch up. So you click on this, this slide here, and then you drag your image in. Now Adobe Spark allows each slide to be only 30 seconds long. Um, and if we look at my song here, um, if I pop it in a player or I start playing it, I'll, I'll have a quick look. We can see that it's three minutes long. So we're going to need six slides. So I'm going to hit plus. I'm going to create six because each one's only 30 seconds long and my total length of my song is three minutes. And you will need to click on each one and just drag your image in this. So it's just a still image that we're using. And then I'm going to select this. Uh, should have six slides all with my image. Now under uh, the top right hand corner, we I'm just going to make this a bit bigger here. Um, we do have the option to add music. So I'm going to select music and they have some uh, stock music there, but I'm going to select add my own. And then from my desktop, I'm going to upload the audio for this. And then it should take it's saying here adding song. So it should take just a, a moment to upload. And while that's uploading, I'm going to go through each of these slides and just change the length of each slide to 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. And so our whole song, our whole video should be now three minutes in length. And then, so it's successfully added my music. So if I select preview up the top, yep, so that's all looking pretty good. Now I'm going to hit download and then I'll pause the video and I'll join back with you. Okay, so it's finished processing that and I'm going to select save file and see what happens where that ends up probably in my downloads folder. And there it is there in my downloads folder. Let's have a look to see whether that's worked. Okay, so that looks great. That's turned my audio into a nice video. I can upload that straight to YouTube. So with this method, you will get this small Adobe Spark watermark there, but that will happen with any free piece of video uh, software. They will always add a watermark and that's not too intrusive. At the end of the video, you will get a little outro here that says made with Adobe Spark, but you can actually get rid of that by just cropping the video in YouTube itself. In the YouTube uh, video editor, in your um, back end of YouTube, when you go to the YouTube studio, you can edit the length of videos in there. So you can just cut out that outro. So that's a really quick and easy way that you can turn an audio file such as an MP3 into a video and then upload it to YouTube using a completely free online tool, Adobe Spark. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you found this content valuable and I will see you next time. Thank you.